All right. Hello and welcome everyone to another eventright.com TV show. We have Mr. Stephen Key. What the hell is that in your head? Go ahead. He's He's the co-founder of our company. I'm kind of embarrassed to say that now. What is that on your head? Uh, it's not even plugged in. It's not, <laughs> people know better than that. <laughs> Steven does not like headsets. God. By the way, you guys, I've been hanging out with Steven for 15 years. We've been doing event right. He is a microphone phobic. I, I'm going to out you here. Now, lapel mics he's okay with. But if you've got to hold a mic like this, which I kind of don't blame him. I had to do one the other day, and it was very uncomfortable, but... Oh, you did? To, oh, I would I have loved to, it. I want to see it. I had I to be to the moderator on this whole thing holding a mic. It, it wasn't, it's kind of, it's geeky. I want a mic where I can run, a, run around and do whatever I want to do. Yeah. Well, and I'll be getting rid of this pretty soon, too. So, because um, then I'll be cool like Stephen Key. Um, okay. So, today we've got a very cool show. Um, hey, before we start, yeah. I, I want to tell everybody I'm going to be traveling around. Of the country giving talks and meeting people, please look at the schedule. Go to InventRight. Look at the speaking schedule because I'll be in Charleston coming up um, in the February to Jacksonville in Florida to Atlanta. Then I'll be in Chicago, Houston, Austin, um, the Alamo doing some. The Alamo, okay. Well, yeah. He was, but, he was going around. He's got a. He's got like a truck wagon. He's got like. He's got a couple <laughs> horses. And he's going to be like, yeehaw, I'm coming no, to your really, town. <laughs> no, what's really great, though, I get there early. I spend the whole day. I don't rush out. I get to see people, take pictures, and have a good time. So if you're if you're in that area, check my speaking thing. In fact, I'm even going to Northern Ireland. But, 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 don't get too techy. Check his speaking thing, people. <laughs> check my speaking schedule. That's, that, that's not appropriate for this show. No, no. You go to InventRight, you click on speaking. Just do <laughs> it. Being too silly? Okay, go ahead, go ahead. I didn't realize how bouncy this chair was. I can like really Stephen Key on a horse. Okay, uh, so the, the title of this show, which is a silly title anyway, why never to tell anybody you're an inventor. And Stephen, Stephen, and I both have experience with this, but Stephen has some experience with going to the cocktail parties, things like that. And you know, what do you do? Oh, I'm a banker. Oh, I'm an accountant. I'm, I'm a painter. I'm this or that. And Stephen, what do you do? People, I have a hard time with that, actually. I know. You still haven't figured I, it out. I, I struggle with that. Um, oh, I, I, I don't know really what to say. I, I, I'm oh. beginning to say, I coined this one time. You thought this was pretty good. I say I'm a product artist. I don't even say that. I, I, I want to stay away from it, and I'll tell you the reason why. Most people don't, cannot relate to it. Now, no. I might, I might yeah. say, you know, I was a toy inventor. Just because they think people, people can grasp that they can, and they think that's kind of unusual. So I might say that, but they can grasp it. They can they image they have yeah. an image boy. Oh, he's creating stuff. Okay, now, but yeah, you know, I have a real hard time with that. But but here's where you never want to say you're an inventor mm -hmm. is when you're reaching out to a company. Yeah. Now why I would is say that? A dinner dinner party as well. But why is that, Andrew? The, they don't know what to make of it. They are a product developer. You know, I mean, it just, it sounds more professional, doesn't it? Because they it's have because them. It's a term that they use. Because they have product developers within their company. Yeah, they, they actually use that title within companies. So they, they understand it. But... designer, industrial designer, but product developer, it might not feel familiar to the average person at dinner party, but it is familiar to companies. Familiar. Because what, yeah. if you say inventor, <laughs> some wild images. Well, but this is what I would say at a party if you guys wanted a one-liner. I would say I'm a, I'm a product developer. I design and license new products, you know, and license them to companies for royalties. But, you know, you say Ugh. that every time you, there's, there's going to be no – if you do that, if you go down that path, I'm going to warn you right now, there's no such thing as a three-minute conversation. And they're either going to be like really kind of like, oh, I, what? You're weird. Or they're going to be like so interested – it's going to be like you're giving them the sales pitch, and like an hour later, you're like, oh, my God, can I go talk to somebody else and relax? The, the only time you want to be an inventor, in my opinion, if, if you have an idea and it's coming to market and you want to, if you want the, the press, if you want 
the uh, magazines or TV. They love inventors. Oh, you got to be an inventor then. You have to be one then because that's a story to tell. And that's why potential licensees, when you license an idea to a company, you need to stay involved because if they were to go to a media outlet and go, hey, we got this new idea, they're going to say, okay, great, take an ad. But if, if you're an inventor, you've got a backstory. They think you're a little, you know, whatever. But it's a backstory and they like it. And, and oh, the crazier oh, oh. you are, the more they like it. Um, and that's too bad, too, Andrew. Uh, that's why some of these inventing shows are, are, are never so great. Because You're talking about the media, the, the more the media likes it. We're not talking about the companies like crazy inventors. That's no. exactly what they don't like. No, it's yeah. the media. I mean, once you license an idea, you can go out and you can call just about the newspaper, TV, and go, hey, I'm an inventor. I've got a product. They all want to hear about it. Good Morning yeah. America wants to hear about it. I mean, it's everybody wants to hear about it. But you don't want to start that conversation out with a potential licensee and say, hey, I'm an inventor. I, li I like how you can just change your, change your title up at whim. I, I like that. That's cool. Um, and I, I hate titles. You know, I, I, I'm not what about titles. Yeah, I, we, we didn't know what the hell to do when we started our company. So we're like, oh, what the hell, co-founder. I don't like titles. You know, I, I don't I, – I think – I don't think you should ever be defined by a title or a job. I think you, um, I don't know, I don't want to be boxed in. So that's why I have a really hard time with that at dinner parties. Like, but that's you... exactly why everybody wants that because it's easy to put you in a box. Yeah, And, and it's exactly what all the creative types like you and me and all the people watching don't like. They don't want to be put in a box. Well, that's, why it's, that's why it's hard to, to, to define that. So just re recognize whoever you're dealing with, recognize who your audience is. And if it's the media and you want to, and they, they like it, feed them your inventor. If it's a potential licensee and you're working with a company, no, you're, you're a product developer. So basically to summarize people, we have very good tips for working with companies. Always say you're a product developer, they're open, that'll work fine. We're still a little indecisive about the dinner party. So you got to figure that out on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Steve and I haven't figured it out ourselves. So, if anybody has any comments below on what you're supposed, well, that would be great, Stephen. Below, tell you what, state in the comment section what you think you should say at dinner parties if you're an inventor. How you answer yeah, that? Yeah, I like to hear that from everybody because to me, inventor sounds like I'm Thomas Edison or I'm, you know, and I'm not that. I'm a product artist. I like products. I like creating new ideas. An inventor. That's a heavy Everybody topic. thinks it's like super technical and not all of our students are doing super technical things. You know, sometimes it's simple. I'm not, I don't fit at that inventor techie person. I'm not one of those guys. Yeah. And we have students that are, that license those types of products. And, and you, you, look at you. You're, you look a little techie. I'm just a, with I'm that just, headset yeah, on. Yeah, you yeah. Do. Let's see your headset back. Come on. Before we leave, <laughs> give it to him, Stephen. Come on. No, no, I'll do Stephen Key on the horse if you don't do it. Headset's Come off. Come on, give me the headset. Go off. down there, get it. You try all right, it. everybody. Keep on listening. Ah. Keep on writing in, share it with everybody. If you've got questions, we want to hear it, but there you go. Take care. Keep inventing.